so I need <coughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven volunteers. I know I've got two from the fire schools. So one, two, if you could come stand on the lower step. I need some more. Okay, I'm gonna come pick. Oh that there we go. Two more. Oh, Mary, you've got that to my name on hand, so you've got a lot of fish. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Okay, so we should be able to make a word. It should be an important word that we're focusing on today. You've ruined my word now. You've gone the wrong end. <laughs> okay, so out of my word harvest, I can make. Ten other words. Okay? For those boggle people that are good at this. But I'm going to tell us the words. So, when I give you the word, can you rearrange yourself to make the word? <laughs> we said it was interactive. Okay? okay, so my first word is earth. Okay, so earth. So we need to be thankful for everything that God gave us. He provided us the earth. So if we didn't have the earth, we wouldn't be alive. We wouldn't have harvest at all. So first of all, we need to be thankful for the earth. Next word, have. So... We have everything we need. We have more than we need. Do we have too much? Do you have too much choice in your life? I know when I go to my food cupboard, there's always an array of chocolate biscuits and of all different styles. But which one do I want? But I don't need them all. So Tesco's is doing a great job of whittling down my choice. Um, but we do have too much. So. Can we live on less? Could we do some other things, which we'll look at later? The next word is eat. So we should be thankful for the food that we have to eat. What's your favourite food? What's the favourite thing you eat? Mine's chocolate. So just hinting when you're on biscuits and cake duty. Chocolate biscuits, chocolate cake is the way. But yours might be fruit, yours might be vegetables, it might be some of the canned goods that we have here today. Next word, rest. <laughs> so rest. On the seventh day, God rested because he saw everything was good. Do we rest? Do we take time to rest? We all know that some people rest, they have holidays. Father Mark chooses to have a holiday but then works on it, so not sure he's learned the best way to rest yet. But rest is the thing that God did, so we need to learn from God and to rest. Our next word, vest. You don't need to move, Wendy. No. Vest. So, a vest is an item of clothing, and in our Bible reading it talked about clothing. So we should be thankful for our clothing. I think the church would be quite scary if we were all here naked. So, let's be grateful for clothes, and the variety of clothes, that we don't all look the same. Next word, starve. So there are I've lost my place, sorry. There are many of us that don't have enough food. There's plenty of people that are starving. Maybe starving of food, maybe starving of love. There are plenty of people in this world that may not have people that love them or care for them. So can we do more to save someone from starving? Either from food, from love from somebody that just cares for them.
how many people are truly cared for in places like Croft Meadow? They have carers, but are they left alone 90% of the time? Who knows? But can we change that as a congregation? We're changing the food element today. Can we think about people that need love more? Next word, share. So Hebrews 13 and 16 says, And do not forget to do good and to share with others, for with such sacrifice God is pleased. So at harvest time, we share. We brought our gifts. In days gone past, the farmer would leave the edge of his field, as he was doing, to give it to those that were in more need. So can we learn to share more? So who's got too many clothes? I'm sure there are plenty of people who do. Can you share them? Can you give them to a charity shop? Could you give them to homeless charities? There's plenty of places that you can share your bounty that you have. Our next word, heart. So we all have a heart, well I hope we all have a heart, um, but our hearts aren't always for good. We could be jealous, we can be selfish, so can we change our heart to be better people, to be doing what God wants us to do? So, you know, we're all guilty of it, that we don't share or we are jealous or even that we're just a little bit rude sometimes and don't hold that back. I know for certain that I can be a bit abrupt with my mum because, you know, that's a son-mother relationship. But actually I need to change my heart when I come to those conversations that I don't snap back. So is that something we need to do this harvest time? Next word, save. So, save is an important word, and it's the ultimate gift. So, Jesus was given to this world to save us. So, at this harvest time, we need to reflect on our relationship with God, to be saved by giving to Him all the things that we do wrong. Okay, last word, star. So this harvest time, why not choose to be a star and share what we have with a grateful heart? So yeah, we're done. You've listened very well. well done.